on top of the building today. We so welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh huh. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Very soft. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> but thank but, you. But, but, but no be power solution. Now power solution. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Power 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 <laughs> okay, now now power solution, aka power solution. <laughs> All right, but my co-host in the building, Wisdom, how far with you? Yes, so Wisdom, chap jumbo day, yes, so not be so, not be so. But the week has been good. That last weekend, I, I, I did choose. Has it been? Uh, yes, it's But I mean, this is small, though. But you have to talk about, we sent him to the bush. <laughs> you have to talk about that we'll one. We'll be letting every time he day in the bush. No, 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 this one a real bush. This one a real bush, oh. Real bush, off We're we going to see our work, what they do for that side, for, for inside River State. Which animal you capture? Uh, and, uh, hey, hey, hey. Would it be hey, so not capture? Anyone? Now when you talk, I just remember that one one of the villagers say yes. make I follow them go. Yes, and you know Grigo. I no get mind. All right. <laughs> so so like Nigeria, would they talk how to feel make I'm kaja uh, about the flower solution? Yes. I will go come to you, Doctor Boa. But could talk about your professional journey. But could talk about actually not really your personal professional journey, but the all on story. Okay. Make we hear how we take start. How you take gather's passion to drive this particular huge matter okay so now shell they start them um, the the oil company shell i think you you know yes you know of shell. course yeah now them say we go give 200 million dollars that one you go any shaker shaker no, no now okay. what you want to shaker shaker yeah. any shaker <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> don't worry they, 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 they do press up you go soon come <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay so okay so shell put down 200 million dollars yes and then asked me to come I, I was working in another company they said can you come and start this fund and invest in renewable energy companies in Nigeria? Awesome. Mm. And so that's how it started five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, since then, we've now made about 50 investments in the space. And it, I think, as far as we know, it's the most investments of any company in this space in Africa. In mm. Africa. Possibly mm. in the whole world. Whoa! Mm. So now mm. it's big. Mm. Now our capacity so, huge. Uh, <laughs> the, the capacity. <laughs> No, I, de, I, de from Arewa, so uh, I, I know when you grow up, they enter, they enter, uh, mother tongue, they enter your tongue. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so uh, uh, um, wisdom, you they de shout about this matter. Mm. But now, what you hold for hand, the work and on don't they affect life in different platforms? Mm. We never get to ask you about this thing, but you could say, as he come here, and I mm. mentioned mm. how the journey really starts, mm -hmm. and, and we they glad to hear. And uh, so far, so good. The, the conversation don't they grow from smaller to medium to bigger mm. and now we they talk in a very large uh, kind of uh, format okay mm -hmm. but, but but wisdom over to you i go, I go like you yeah uh, how uh, does it feel uh, say the related to your boss uh, right now well uh, <laughs> now the goal be that you know <laughs> the the show initially that now he first started as i come yes now he uh, first started we, we, i don't take him from him now i see the way we don't take and go mm. and now, so, you, now you be the organ uh, uh, well, <laughs> well, well you don't get your organ for the show you know say you don't the <laughs> With the blessing, very important With to... With the blessing of the order to talk for our solution. <laughs> <laughs> for our solution. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, plenty to read the one as you today, Weba. Uh, uh, I mean, 30 minutes no go do us. We, we say time day, but we go try. The one I want to ask you now, be say, you know, say, when we don't announce some of this deal... All this investment we do, church and the dollars mm -hmm. and we'll everything. And they, God said and, they, day and they try to tell us, say, all oh, this thing means, say, would they unlock. Wisdom, if you leave me alone, would they, would they, go ask that would question. Would they, would, they, would they unlock access to energy for hmm. Nigerians? Make power, they mean power, all that stuff. But I want to ask you now, Ogami, uh, now tell us, uh, what would be the principle behind our investment? What would be the guy, what would they hold our hand, they invest mm -hmm. for this company over the time? Make you share with us because now you don't date for the top top. I don't want to quit him or guard the top. No go up, but guard the top there today. <laughs> Tell okay, us. Okay, okay, okay. Make I speak my Oibo English. Uh, make you speak your speaking Oibo. <laughs> okay, so the, now now uh, maybe like three things with a with a with a look at one. Can the team? Okay, wh what is who are the people on the team? Mm -hmm. Can they deliver? Do they have persistence? Can they when the wahala come? Can they manage them? Mm -hmm. So that's the uh -huh. first one. The second one is. This idea they get or the business they get, it go work. Mm -hmm. It go work for Nigeria. Now, now correct um, idea idea for Nigeria because mm. you know Nigeria is very unique. Mm. Our market, the the sector and everything in Nigeria is very different from other parts of the world. So mm. you can't just take 
an idea from Kenya and bring it here. So that's the other mm-hmm. one. Can it work in Nigeria? Okay. And then the third one, can it grow fast? Mm, where they go grow? Uh-huh. Money, where they go grow? Uh-huh. Because mm-hmm. the problem, the Wahala way we get for power in Nigeria is more than and it, not, not the most in the world. Mm-hmm. You know, we are very, we, unfortunately, mm-hmm. we, are the, we are the champion of energy poverty. Mm-hmm. Kind of poverty. Uh, 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 I would like for anybody who would listen, I would like, what thing you, you mean by that particular one? So now we are the champion of the energy poverty. This power. one not be good. No, it means the number of people wait in Nigeria when we get power. Mm-hmm. Now more than any country, even past India, China, everything. In the world. Mm-hmm. In the, every place. Yeah, oh, exactly. Wow, giant so, of uh, Africa. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. it, it, we are it, coming. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so our investments are focused on how do you close that? Oh, yeah. nice. Wow. How do you close that? And mm. and, and uh, because of that, now they do plenty, plenty things. So I get to hear about different money all the time. Today, now five hundred um, k dollars. Now, what would they talk about? About the investments in green aid technologies for the expansion of the solar uh, uh, manufacturing um, equipment and, of course, the facilities where they're involved. Now, in the press uh, statement, where we say you own have been dropping investments uh, is the core of uh, all on commitments, of course. And uh, for Una to drive them um, on a youth kind of level, especially in Nigeria with different companies when I get to work with. We could talk this green age to how to accelerate this thing, how the sector they take work, how to contribute, and for everybody where we say they around them to close this particular gap where we are the hustle to close. Okay, now, nah, bros, this investment there for East, so I got talk like a <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're such a... Yes! Oh, my goodness. Yes, <laughs> okay, okay. What a fool Nigerian you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, anyway, sorry, no no offense. No, my, no, no, definitely not. Okay, not. so so this this investment it's it it, it encompasses this what all on is about. Mm-hmm. So it's first of all the entrepreneurs are young. They Very first young. we first got to know them when they were still at UNN, University of Nigeria and Sudan. At my school, come on. Oh, fantastic. Uh, 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 we're, we're proud, we're proud, we're proud. We are so proud. Be very far out. Yes, I am proud. Point. Very very far out of this place. <laughs> so so that's how we first connected. Soon after they graduated, they mm. applied for the first stage of funding, the angel funding. Awesome. They got $100,000. Mm. They performed brilliantly. Mm. They jam all the milestone. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Beating all the older people. You know far. where did they come from? It's based on Nigerians. No, no, come on. I know. It's UNN, but then also one of the boys, they're from Joss. That's the real uh, 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 thing. Uh, 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 <laughs> Anyway. Okay, he learned from the UNM boys. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> but five of these boys, they, they build this. And then, so after they did really well, then hmm. then now we did the 500,000. And it's basically to enable them to expand their um, manufacturing of solar components, like wow. solar inverters. And these are things where everyone else, do, we just import. Import, hmm. import, without thinking. We just hmm. go to China, we bring it. Hmm. This, they said, no, let's make it here and let's keep money in Nigeria and, hmm. and all that. So. It, it's it's really what we're trying to do. We're enabling Nigerian entrepreneurs, but also Nigerian solutions, mm. so that all the money for renewable energy isn't just going to China. Yeah, it goes stay here for Nigeria. And mm. sometimes when they import all these things, if you still get wahala, they will still need to fly uh-huh. out. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, and the money, the forex, so they spend, they do this import. Make you just go talk to some of these developers. I mean, they, they spend crazy money, and I make the cost of solar they high. If we see how they talk, we say, oh, solar cost, solar cost. Not because even the people who never even ask how much. Uh, they never even go ask. They never go the market because. before. But this issue, they make us. Let, let's run around. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, uh, like I talked before, plenty of people ask you, but they try to cut them small, small, more they ask you. Now, would they talk about structures uh, uh, of funding for this sector? You know, say, uh, all this work who they do, money had to get. Mm-hmm. Some of these investees who will get. So, if to say no, be all on, they, where they foresee them be start. You know, funding that issue. Uh, and I want to ask you now, uh, what will be some of the challenges? I don't say all of them fund the sector, but as a company and mm-hmm. work we don't do so far. What will be the challenges okay. for these entrepreneurs, you know, to get to get funding? No, if all are not there, they no go get money. Mm. Wow. So okay, but th- there's several reasons. So mm. one is any new industry, there's always there's always a difficulty in finding capital. Okay. It, it's just a new industry, it's evolving, there isn't established capital. So that's one. Mm. Secondly, many of the fund and the investors looking at this space in Africa. Mm. They invest in or you book people. Uh huh. So they they will say now African fund, but okay. then when you look, who are they investing now? We, n- all the companies where they invest now, you book people. They inside. Uh huh. Mm. And that one to me, it, it make me it vex me. Mm. You, anyway, you know this one. That, I know, I know, I know. So, um, and so that's the other reason. So Nigerian entrepreneurs, they may be competing with a, a foreign entrepreneur mm. who has a big, you know, big grammar, big all this. Mm, you go Harvard. Yeah, exactly. Big, big, everything, and and so the the investors give them the money, and they mm. don't give the Nigerian 
mm. entrepreneur. Look three years from now. It's the Nigerian entrepreneur who will be finishing the, mm. the Oibo guy. Mm. So that's the second one. So that's one thing Olan has tried to do as we focus on Nigerian entrepreneurs. Mm. And then the third is there isn't money from commercial banks. Mm. And sometimes people say, okay, why are they not funding it? But commercial banks anywhere in the world, specifically Nigeria, aren't meant to because some of our guests don't complain. Yeah. You say bank, no give them no, money. But, but banks anywhere mm. in the world don't give money to early stage companies in a new they, industry. They, they need to see what yeah. thing you don't do yeah. before mm. they go fee be part of them, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are the three issues. But that's where what Olan was set up to solve. Mm -hmm. So now all these companies we've invested in, we've de-risked them. Okay. So now the banks are coming. Hmm. In fact, now the banks are starting to compete. Hmm. You know, to say no. They also say the company is yeah. good now. So it's, it's good. We're at a good place now. Hmm. All right. And still talking about supporting the homegrown business and everything. I, I hear the on hub currently they support uh, almost 80 businesses uh, from uh, education and different things. So it's up until the stage. And uh, wh where you see this particular matter, like, uh, let's look the next five years. Okay. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So you know when a company is growing, they need more than just capital. Mm -hmm. They also need technical support. Yeah. And often they they may know what it is they need, but they can't afford it as a as a company. So the All On Hub provides non financial technical support. Non financial. Yeah. So mm. no, no no be no be money, but it's yes. still so like we have um, partnerships with companies like PwC. There's mm. a law firm called okay. um, so uh, I can't remember the law firm. Mm, and and mm. then the, there's a um, public relations company called Nelson Reeds. Things like that. So if the company needs maybe a marketing plan or they need a strategy plan or a structure. Or then get what Allah for law matter. Mm -hmm. or, exactly. Mm. Then, then these companies will come and support them based on our on our contract with them. And so that's the kind of support they can't afford on their own. Mm. Mm. And then it helps them so that they can now raise more capital, grow faster, and, and everything like that. So you have to have, you know, the capital, which we put from the all on. Mm. And then the other support that we provide from the hub. Mm. All right. Now, those additional businesses, uh, uh, such a, uh, where, where would they give those uh, 10,000 mm -hmm. US dollars to yeah. start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, after we don't train them for the incubation program, mm -hmm. we can't give them that money. So that thing, we don't, we don't come tell us that business or oh, your take, make you start them. Mm. Uh, make we see. Make we see how, how, how it will progress, go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Nigeria, we still there here. We, we, we did tell you about how the Nigerian uh, off grid sector go feed the Kajad and now why we get. Uh, of course, uh, the CEO of All Learn, uh, Dr. Weber Bar, in the building to feed followers clear of so many questions. Uh, where we say, don't they our mind? Where we say, we know, so we know we ask wisdom, particular mm. one, because we need the boss to come answer and yes, why so. in they here. So, we we continue. Uh, on this matter. Yes, yes, yes. So, now, Dr. Weber, I could ask you now. Uh, Nigeria, we know, say, uh, we both they call them fossil fuel driven economy. Fossil fuel. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Uh, it means that they, all these are fuel. All these, yes. we can't do without it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But now, if we want to put in all this kind of sustainable energy, solar, everything, uh, uh, the government need to understand. The regulators need to understand what they happen there. So make you tell us, oh, for this last five years, how all London uh, uh, provide the regulators with what they call, what they call a capacity building support mm -hmm. to understand how this thing fit happen. I know so we work with, but make you tell us, make I leave you, make you tell us how you go describe the work so far in this area. Okay, so we don't work directly with government at all uh, because we're funded by Shell. They they prefer that we stay separate. So, but we mm. in, we fund like rural, rural the Renewable Energy Association of Nigeria and mm -hmm. other organizations to do the advocacy. Okay, but what I can say is that this is one area that the government has actually done very well, mm. and they've put in place policies, regulations, and mm. even funding. Um, five hundred million dollars of funding okay. to support the sector, mm. and so it, Nigerian so government, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Okay. yeah, the federal government through the Rural Electrification Agency. Okay, mm. so they've actually done very well in this space, and you even have, you know, companies from all the way from Cambodia, Indonesia, India, Kenya, mm. Mexico, saying this: what you have in Nigeria is fantastic, and we actually want to copy it. Mm. So it's one it's one area that the government has actually done very well in putting well. in place that enabling environment. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, make we talk about uh, the to tackle the Nigerian power challenges through renewable energy. In the last five years, uh, you think, say, Olan uh, don't really do enough um, to fit build and also to fit they're responsible for the slow um, uptake of the renewable energy solution. We also want to know how Ona take the alternate, how things don't they work generally over the years? 
Well, that one has plenty of questions. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> so just alternate around. <laughs> okay. So has all on done enough? I, I don't think anyone has done enough. Okay. I mean, we, we've done as we pushed hard. We've you know, like mm. I said, we have the biggest. Awesome. I like that. Biggest <laughs> biggest portfolio of, of companies, I think, in Africa for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but we could always do more. We could always do it faster. So there's always that. But then what is slowing down the yes. uptake? Mm -hmm. um, there's many reasons. Mm -hmm. One of them is people don't know about solar. They think it's too expensive. They don't think it works. Yeah, they tell us what, yeah. So yeah. awareness is okay. Awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, so awareness. this what, what we're doing here with, with yes. the show is, is very important. Mm -hmm. um, but there's one big one that nobody go wants to talk about. It's Why? Not, I know. Not cut off, Sean. <laughs> no, but, but it's a special kind. And so based every year in Nigeria, we spend $15 billion Dollars, no be naira, dollars. dollars, 15 billion. Say that. 15 billion. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. 15 billion dollars, dollars. Mm -hmm. on diesel generators and the diesel to fuel them. Hmm. Of that 15 billion, 12 billion is the, is the fuel hmm. every year. Wow. From that 12 billion, yeah. there's an estimate that about 4 billion is invisible money. So like someone will say invisible they money. Some mm. will say they delivered sev a thousand liters. Snake job there is. Mm. <laughs> but they only delivered th seven hundred. Yeah. Mm. And then everybody they who they inside go chop the three hundred. The yeah. money the other. They so, go tell us a wow. rat, rat chopper. Uh -huh. Or it, <laughs> it, 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 it evaporate or something. <laughs> but four to five billion dollars a year mm. is stolen through that process. Wow. So nobody wants the power sector to work because if you. Fix the power sector. Nobody goes. Then this money, money no go This money go just yeah. disappear. And this is private sector, public sector, social sector. But, mm. but, but, for, but for how long? How uh, long it go continue? I for don't know. us that's to keep on to the chop ourselves. But like that's that. what we have to ask our leaders and, and and not our government leaders, only our own yes. our own CEOs, yes. our own branch managers, our own local uh, government chairman. But, facility managers. But even mm -hmm. facility managers, why can't you stop hmm. this? And what's very very concerning is that I heard from some of the generator salespeople yeah. that even with diesel going up high really fast, mm -hmm. their generator sales are going up. Hmm. Yeah, at the same time, of course. Uh, no. uh, on Monday, I've been talking about the, the sales. Uh, waiting generator yeah. cost 2019. Nobody mm. waiting it cost because now. now. It's it's as, yes. in, as in they're selling more generators faster because yes. people want to chop money. Yes, mm. and, and the generator, because you get to work yeah. over time, so you mm. get to buy new ones buy too. New you get one. to repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we just need to, because wow. that four billion that's stolen every year could add the 4,000 megawatts to the grid every mm -hmm. year, mm. which mm. would double our capacity every year. Mm. So in but some people don't go agree. No. So we get Wahala for our hands. And we've been doing this for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And, and, and now, now we have the worst power sector in the world. You don't collapse. And the, then the grid don't collapse 17 times this year. And this is something that <sighs> light go to go this way. Grid electricity grid were working 150 years ago. This mm. one is not. This one no be new. This is not a new thing. It's mm. it's Im actually embarrassing. And when mm. we need to just at some point say enough is enough. We need mm. to stop this and mm. we need to do this properly. Mm. Oh man, I, I, I wish it, uh, time go free permit permit ours because I, there's a lot to, to okay. talk about on top of mm. this particular mm. matter. But we continue. Uh, mm. Wisdom over to you before. Anyways, more we'll, we'll move on from that one. I want to talk about the workforce. You know, for this sector. So you know, some five six years ago. You know, people don't go imagine that they go work for this sector. Work not even be there. Without even work, they would, people don't get the skill. Mm -hmm. You know, but now with the work we don't do, uh, working in this sector five years later, mm -hmm. uh, how you go feel describe the, the, the workforce mm -hmm. now for renewable energy? Uh, uh, you feel say we don't get the right mm -hmm. talent to fill the gap, or we need to go bring a Yubo come? No, 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 no. Let, 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 let them stay outside. <laughs> no, no. We, we don't need any Yubo people. <laughs> So what we need, so on on the lower level, we need mm. tens of thousands of people who will be trained on solar installation and management. Okay. So anyone listening, if you are, you haven't gone to school or you don't have a job or you're on strike, mm. or not you, if ASU, it's not the students on strike. Mm, it's like yeah. the ASU put there for strike. Mm. Go, you know, look look online or look look around for for training opportunities. There's the um, Rubitech Academy. Mm -hmm. There's the um, Energy Talent Company, which yeah. is online, and you can actually get training in how to do this solar stuff mm. so you can build a whole career so mm. even while the university is closed you can do that and then when it starts you can go be the one selling solar on the side mm. Um, mm. so that's one but then on this on the management level because all of these companies are relatively new mm. um, young management they haven't built a company before we need a lot of help at that C level as mm -hmm. well and we need to start looking for management talent maybe from the fmcg sector or from the telecom sector okay to bring them into this sector and and then and then help them help them help mm, them hold grow. their hand make yeah. no so there's everything. a huge opportunity so if you're listening mm. and and you're looking for something to do 
Mm. Go study that and become get get into the solar industry. It, mm. It's the big growth industry for Nigeria. Nice, nice. All right, um, Dr. Bomo could talk about the Renewable Energy Association of Nigeria and uh, what in the thing they do to feel make things better, especially when it get to do with the renewables. Mm -hmm. So the renewable the, the Renewable Energy Association of Nigeria is the largest industry association for the sector mm. there's a few other associates also and i guess my call to all of them is please guys just come together because i got down myself uh -huh. we exactly. do like division for this this know, yeah, we it, do they divide it's, it's a new industry everybody so will get a fraction exactly so they should come together but our rian has about 150 members mm -hmm. and so one of the things they do is it's like self-regulation if you're a member of rian mm. and someone now complete you did a contract or you did a solar so if someone is in the association you know that you'll have a credible and and good co you know ex uh, project mm. so that's one the other is they they work together to to ad advocate in government yeah for policies and all that to make sure that the industry can grow mm. they work very closely with the, the rural electrification agency with the donors and everything like that representing all of the all of the so many of the businesses so there's mm. a lot that they do and then they also help with awareness. Okay. Um, oh, they help yeah. with awareness. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of them partner with them to to on awareness level. Mm -hmm. uh, they do but, all but, that. But but I see you. Of course, talking about Olan, what in be that thing where they bother you the most? What in be the thing where where they your mind all mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. as regards to yeah. this? It's so. they're not moving fast enough. That the problem is even growing probably faster than we're solving it. Mm. Um, and and so that's what wow. keeps me up at Deep. night. Yeah, the, you know, there's 100 million Nigerians who, who are off the grid completely. Completely. And never been or never. No, never. And, I don't and, see some more. Yeah, talk about it. He went to, he does uh, he's, ah. from, he's from rivers and he didn't believe in rivers. There were communities <laughs> that were never on the grid. There are four fathers ever seen life for, light for this life. And now your, and now your state be that. My, my dear. With all their money, all their oil. Ah. All the oil, all the I go going inside, out. They I are go all you inside, making other people better. I go inside the community. Church my eyes see. You know, I, I, I've been served for Bayasa State, and ah. I know so many places where I go, Egbo, Mongalabri, Braz, Nimbe. Even for Bayasa, you go shock if we carry you, Waka. Mm -hmm. eh. Wow. But anyways... So uh, the problem, they grow faster than... than you know, it's because than. Our, our population is yes, growing fast. Yes, the population fast. is mm. growing. And, mm. and in fact, the power grid is getting worse. So mm. yeah, it's, it's, it's actually growing faster than... We're no hope yet. for those people. No, mm -hmm. there, of course, there's always hope. Yeah, no, I mean, for the grid. Oh, yeah, no, this I grid, think no hope. We, we need to just stop working. Because we add them now, every week, it could be So, yeah. since this, yeah. it, it bothers you, it, it makes you feel, it, it make you feel like, say, okay, I'm going to need to, you they're worried. But but waiting, yeah. they give you hope. What, what, what keeps it together for you? Yeah, so it's it's the the entrepreneurs we invest in, and knowing that in two, three years, this the pace at which they will deliver mm -hmm. will start to help the country catch up. Mm. And that people now have more and more awareness and more understanding and, and belief in what they're doing. And they'll buy the products. They'll just say the grid and all this diesel generators is, you need to get rid of this. Yeah. And focus on the new solution. So, and so yeah. now where you they get that strength from yeah. mm. to continue running? Mm. Huh? And now where yeah, you yeah, get yeah, your exactly, strength from? Exactly. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom. All right. Uh, I, won't, I won't bring <laughs> one not too good news now. <laughs> Oh, um, because see all these people don't talk now. I see the passion, the way my yes. God they talk. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, they leave. Uh, in don't they leave all alone. In they leave all alone. In don't take another walk. So who did they pass another, over to? We never know. Oh my goodness. We no, never no, no. know. We, we go announce <laughs> very soon. Very soon. But now African woman. Okay. I African tell woman. You that no, no, we know mm. we no need Oyibo again. Mm. So now African woman go take my place. Okay. So so now you they go start. We have few minutes. Should African they... woman <laughs> balance for better. I like that. So <laughs> you, you, you they go run where, where we about they go now? In they go run a university. Mm -hmm. A oh, university. For, yes, for America. In Africa. Oh no, yeah, come but, on, Weba. But, but I want to ask you, Weba. Like, yeah. uh, why they leave us? Like, why at this time? We need. We it need you. Such a switch. Why? Uh, why? From here to there. Why? <laughs> university <laughs> so you know when i started in all on five years ago i didn't know anything about solar so yes. I, I i do this every almost every five years i moved oh. to a different industry but this one it's the university was founded 150 years ago by my great grandfather's cousin it's it was dutch immigrant in the u.s the family thing it's the mm. it's the church that sent my parents to nigeria to be missionaries so it's there's okay. a very deep long connection mm. and they were looking for a new president or vice chancellor and so they, they appointed me, and it wasn't something I expected, but it's the kind of thing that when it happens, you can't say no. Mm. Because it's like a calling that you have to come and... Mm. Um, the, the university so they're is, passing yeah. the baton back Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, mm. and one of the reasons was that they wanted someone with a more international outlook. Okay, okay. okay. And, okay. and the, the church that 
um, that runs the university mm. in the in North America now only has two hundred thousand members. Hmm. In Nigeria, they get two million. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Are, you Are you here? Are you been here? That's in charge. Yeah, in Taraba and mostly Taraba and Benway, where my parents used to work. So. Maybe one day we go just with the whole. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. We, Anything that possible with we you. Go so. we, we, we go relocate, relocate them to So Ukari in the, in the next five yeah. years, are you still going to switch? To which one? I don't know oh, now. No. Because it's a thing for <laughs> your culture. So this one make I know say on air. <laughs> <laughs> because there are people who don't listen. Uh, and those are your village people. Uh, you know village people. <laughs> Yes, so the one who used the word we will miss you because I know say you will always stay in touch. And hopefully, you get to teach power solution over there too as the vice chancellor. No, actually, one of the first things we're going to do is move the whole university to solar. It's the first project we're working on. Fill them. Fizzy. Fill them. Oshie. 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 Our office there is solar. Oh my God. All on office, oh, uh, um, 24 7. Okay. Solar. So oh. I'm not surprised. Okay. Oh, this time continue running, but thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. And thank uh, you. a word for the people, for anybody who to listen to you now. So I'm leaving Nigeria, but it's not goodbye. I, I, as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger said, I'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs> and we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. <laughs> like we'll be waiting. I, I, I'll go come back to you soon. And now, we the name is still Church Smith. It's been a wonderful time. Please don't miss this particular segment. Please watch on YouTube if you find them. The segment we'll, we'll get with the CEO, soon to be ex CEO.